What's up guys, not Super Mario here and welcome to Malcolm and Marie Movie Reaction, a new movie from one and only Sam Levinson, the creator of Euphoria, that dropped on Netflix starring John David Washington and Zendaya and I'm here with one and only Matiz Valentin. Hey -o. Hey, hey. Uh, and we are gonna watch this uh, movie just because we are very excited. We love Sam Levinson's uh, work. <laughs> and we both can agree that the, bo the special Euphoria episodes were absolutely phenomenal. One of the best television works or maybe even in general like that I've seen in decades. Uh, so, And I've been on this earth for two and a half decades, so not a lot. Uh, oh, but yeah. Man. Do you have anything else to add? Uh, I like donuts. You like donuts. Well, everybody loves donuts. I just had a donut like five minutes ago. Yeah. So let's, without further ado, start with this reaction. Damn. She beautiful. I hate when I, when I gotta do that. <laughs> and the dress is in the way and everything just whole shenanigans. <laughs> I thought he's gonna jump through. That he's gonna jump in the reverse. I mean she doesn't look happy. Yeah he did something bad or he forgot to do something good. <laughs> I think Zendaya doesn't smoke on a regular. <laughs> what was interesting, though, is that you could tell that because I'm black, as the director, and the woman is a black lead who stars in the film, she's already trying to frame it through a political lens, when in reality, it's a, it's a film about a girl trying to get clean. Oh. Now, are there certain obstacles? Because she's a black woman? I mean, hell yeah. Right? I mean, that's reality, too, but it's not a film about race. Yeah, but I'm not an academic, baby. I'm not a, I'm not elitist about my shit. I'm not trying to make a film for the three people in my media studies class that I respect. I am a filmmaker. Nice. Right? <laughs> am I a filmmaker? Am I a Shade. filmmaker? Shade. That's right. And well, I'm now I know why the score is dropping. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... It's been, what, three minutes and Sam Levinson has thrown some shade on <laughs> critics <Yeah>. already. <laughs> I love it. What the body part is that? Oh, fucking lucky. Oh, it's the leg, butt. okay. What is the butt, okay. I could get you home. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> shade thrown again. So why are you angry? Marie, you're angry. Marie, what are you angry about? Marie. Ay, 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 she's gonna explode. Marie. Uh, it's like an action movie. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's the most action this mac and cheese ever got. <laughs> yeah. Ah. <laughs> All right, then what is it? Your speech, Malcolm. Oh, give me a break. You're outside of your mind. When I said you find the most minor fucking detail and make it ugly, I meant it. You forgot to thank me, Malcolm. It's not a minor fucking detail, that's a big one. But I've thanked you a million times before. You know that I'm thankful. You know that I'm appreciative. And you know I made a mistake, so why turn it into something more? You squeezed my hand and said it was fine. You said I love you. Don't worry, it's fine. Well, Malcolm, <laughs> I changed my mind. Oh, no. <laughs> How can you just change your mind? <laughs> Honestly, well, it's really fucking easy. Yeah, she told now me. she has scissors. <laughs> well, what the hell <laughs> Uh, John, I would be really, really careful. But it's not just about you forgetting to thank me, Malcolm. It's about how you see me and how you view my contribution, not just to this relationship, but to your work. Specifically, in a movie you made about my life. Ooh. I think this movie is gonna be what Marriage Story was for 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be... One and a half hour of that? <laughs> well, he did fuck up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he did. But at the but same th time, you know... When you're under so much... Yeah, like, but again... Adrenaline, if... excitement, you, it's easy to forget to say some stuff. I mean, sure, but if he thanked pretty much yeah, every single person, even the janitor from a movie theater, 
Yeah. It's kind of like you really did forget the biggest thing, you dumbass. Imani is not based on you. Oh, so she's a 20 year old drug addict trying to get clean. Was that just a pure fucking coincidence? Obviously, you getting clean was a part of the inspiration. At 20? Yes, and you were able to provide genuine insight into that, what that was like. But Imani's not fucking based on you. It's an amalgamation of a whole different thing, a whole bunch of things. Who? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Malcolm, you well, fucked up. I'm proud of you. It took forever to make and it was fucking tough, but I have one question for you. Do you think that the movie would be as good as it is if we weren't together? Hey, hey, hey. He should have just gone to sleep. Right. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, you should have gone for the head. <laughs> <laughs> you should have gone for saying her name. He really likes her legs, huh? I mean, it's in there, so who doesn't? Yeah, it's not some hobgoblin. Yeah, she changed her mind again. Oh, she's gonna stab him. Oh, what was that? Oh, oh okay. she's gonna burn him. <laughs> well, did, did she took a piss? I love silhouettes in movies. Right. Fucking love it. Pick a room. Get to fucking work and stop blaming me for your inability to get your shit together. I went to group therapy with you. I've been with you. I fucking supported you every single step of the way. You're more privileged than the white girl who worked for the LA Times who thinks she's doing a public service by lifting up your mediocre ass. Now you're being cruel. Well, try slitting your wrist with a pair of nail scissors. Ooh, goddamn. <laughs> That's me when a wasp doesn't leave me alone. <laughs> mm. That that's me after I watch Cobra Kai. <laughs> Fuck Malibu. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, sure. Never been there, but Malcolm, I feel like you're being a little bit irrational. I'm being irrational. I'm being Round irrational. three. This is the biggest night of my life. <laughs> Fight. I'm trying to turn it. This guy will loops. die. That was Jay. I told you, I mean, the way she was grabbing oh, knives and scissors and lighter, I mean... I... Two years ago, I got an email from her sister saying she took a whole bottle of Tylenol to the head and passed away and asked if I had any pictures because she was putting together a slideshow on her behalf. Now that I think about it, I should have thanked her tonight. She deserves it. Damn, Jesus. Whew. So stop fucking... Smiling because you look like a clown. He's mean. Yeah, there's some material for you. Oh, you think? I love the way you see the world. Uh, I love the way you think. Your instincts. And I'm so fucking grateful. The spiritual because quotes everything for Instagram. that you've been through. Everything. That's what made you you. That's what made you you. The girl that I love, the girl that I fuck with, the girl that I'm up at 2 a.m. in the fucking morning on the biggest night of my life because she's relentless. That's the part. That's Zendaya crazy. has a really small forehead. <laughs> the well, yeah. Somewhere. You know what? I never notice foreheads on people. So, Except sure. Dakota Johnson. Except Dakota Johnson, yeah. I can admit that. For some reason, her forehead freaks me out. And Malcolm Elliott's rebellious, jazzy directorial debut. I fucking hate this one. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to see that film? Cinematic <laughs> Round two for the credit. You didn't hear fucking jazzy? No, I, I heard jazzy too. Like the opening steady cam shot. It's a dolly, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Through the streets of bed style, we know one thing about Well, her. that is something I would say. She marches to her own That's beat. for sure. Yeah. She sets the tone. But my fucking problem with her before she even wrote this dumbass, bitch ass, pussy ass review <laughs> is the same after reading this cock sucking motherfucking dog dick review. She's not looking at the film, the, the ideas in it, the emotions or the craft. Cinema doesn't need to have a fucking message. It needs to have a heart and electricity. Thank Morals you. Morals like this sap the world of its mystery because they need everything spelled out with fucking ABC blocks. And they're terrified to embrace anything potentially dangerous because they're constantly trying to predict the fucking culture. This fucking bobblehead shouldn't be writing for the LA fucking Times. She should be holding smiling sun placards for the local news because all she is is a motherfucking weatherman. Whatever. Oh my god, that was phenomenal. <laughs> Did she hate them in real life, but wanted to get to know them through the work? I mean, the fact that Barry Jenkins is a gay, is that what made Blue Light so fucking universal? 
Or is being gay the reason Coker empathizes with women more than men? It's all a fucking mystery is the point. What drives a filmmaker? What drives an artist? Exactly. <laughs> Dude, can we put his whole, like, this monologue on a t-shirt? <laughs> I'm gonna pray fucking hard the way my mama taught me that she gets fucking carpal tunnel and tells her hands atrophy and cramp and she can no longer write nonsensical fucking garbage like this anymore. <laughs> Oh, this was great. Oh. That's my thumbnail. <laughs> I'm kind of weirded out by this. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Her face looks weird upside down. <laughs> looks like a <laughs> strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never thought I'm going to be weirded out by an upside, up, upside, upside down. Upside down. Upside down. No, she's crying. No, we had good times for five freaking minutes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Even he's like, yeah. Can I ask you a question and you promise to answer without making me feel like shit? Oh, oh god damn it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. Why didn't you cast me? Oh, oh. god damn. <sighs> Number four, round number four. Well, <laughs> the thing <laughs> Where is... Where do I start? So that's what this whole thing has been about tonight. You know, she feels left behind. Like, she was not a part of it. Yeah. And the movie is based on her, even though he said it's not entirely, but... I hate you! I hate you too! I hate you more, you fucking I hate you the most! I fucking hate you! Oh, fucking... <laughs> 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 Jesus, he he became a Rottweiler. And I thought that Godzilla vs Kong will be the greatest showdown this year. <laughs> nah, nah. Zendaya vs John David Washington. When this movie has like a music number in it, it's like oh. a, whoa, 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 whoa! I I didn't mean it for real. Marie. Jesus. Do you remember those antidepressants I was on? Oh God damn it! Oh God damn it! She's I was ironically she's saying right. she's gonna pick she's up a right. weapon. She's not alright. She's not alright. Really, right. really, I've never been clean. Oh shit. God, I feel like I'm crazy. <laughs> oh no. This is terrible. And that Malcolm is what authenticity buys you. Oh <laughs> damn. Nice. Oh my god. I was afraid. <laughs> <laughs> well, damn, why'd you do that in the audition? <laughs> oh, God my God. Damn. Okay, it's finally happening. It's happening, guys. Is oh, it, though? Yeah, it is. Uh, I, I, I won't believe it until I see the full penetration. <laughs> what? Excuse me? Why did you say that, Mario? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna zoom in on your face <laughs> when you say that. Don't worry. Right. Oh my god, nothing's gonna happen. We are just gonna get round five. Can John David Washington just yeah. get laid already? What if there's someone who loved him better? Was smarter, nicer, woke him up every day with breakfast and a blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> that delivery was the best. Wouldn't mind that. Blowjob. All I wanted tonight was a thank you, Malcolm. That is it. That's all. I love you, Marie. I'll always love you, my Marie. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I love you, Marie. And they're gonna jump. <laughs> it's a cliff there. Nah, or maybe it's gonna cut the black. The it's gonna cut the problem. black, and it's going to be cliffhanger. Yeah. Uh, this was an experience. That's for sure. Yeah. Uh, honestly, it's it's exhausting, but in a good way. Yeah, I would completely agree with you. Uh, I feel emotionally drained. Yeah. And I feel like I need a, a nap. <laughs> uh, but I loved it. I mean, I loved every second of this movie. 
Um, yeah. It's intense. It is emotional. It goes really deep into exploring what kind of a relationship they have. I like how they uh, tackle all the movie related things yeah. i love that about the critics about movie making about how everything nowadays in hollywood in uh, especially needs to be like something to make sense um that it has to be labeled with something that because i know a gay person makes a movie about a gay person and that has to be a thing if mm -hmm. a gay person does a movie about some uh, a basketball movie it's like why the heck what, what, where, where's yeah, the point of that how can a gay person make a movie about a basketball uh i don't know um thing and i'm like yes <laughs> why would that be a thing that people uh, should be questioning i mean if a person decides um, um, to make a movie about anything why would we like judge him for that i mean if the movie is good the movie is good if the movie is bad the movie is bad just leave it at that <laughs> <laughs> uh but yeah what what's your opinion in general I, you like it? it's yeah like you said it's so emotionally draining and everything it, it definitely is like one of the best written movies i've seen lately uh acted also i think that uh, i think i like john david washington actually better than zendaya in this but I think they were both terrific. I think it was written beautifully, also directed and shot beautifully. Just the black and white image, the movie just looks breathtaking. And yeah, like like you said, just like the rants that he that he goes on, it's very, like I said, very like critics greatest enemy. This movie is. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this reaction. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Matisse, for being here. No and of course, share your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, hit that subscribe button, share this video all over the place, click that bell icon to get notified when I upload. And I see you next time. Bye.